Imagine this. You are making an installation and uh, let's say you got two LED strips. These strips, however, are not next to each other. In fact, the distance between them is tens of meters, even hundreds of meters. Well, most likely tens, but you can still imagine it. You can't simply put a normal wire between them. Uh, the signal that runs through the cable after a few meters, it will be too damaged, too weak, it will pick up uh, too much noise, so simply put, it will be useless. You can put it away. However, we designed a little board that could help you solve this trouble, which we call the symmetrizer. Just recently, on the training days that we organized for our customers and for our partners, we demonstrated uh, how it works. You can find the link to the video here, check it out. Uh, in fact, we used the cable which was uh, 100 meters long and it worked perfectly. The name of the board is actually a work plate. It can do two things, create symmetry and also the symmetrize the signal. You start to hear it. What is this symmetry, you ask? Uh, most LED controllers that handle SPI data transmission works with something that we call TTL signal or TTL data transmission. This is a single-ended uh, signal which is referenced to the ground. This is a standard that is easy to install. The wires that you use are uh, less complicated, so you spend less uh, hours on the installation process itself and on short distances it has uh, no significant issues with the uh, quality of the signal. However, if you will run longer distances, then you can encounter some serious troubles. Differential signal, on the other hand, can tackle this problem because on longer distances is that it does not have uh, the issue with uh, picking up uh, noise and uh, data transmission is significantly better. However, you have to use uh, cables that are more expensive and you will spend more hours on the installation process itself since you have to work with more wires. Typical examples of cables that work with a differential signal are VMX cables that I'm sure you've been all working previously and also alternate cables or twisted pair uh, cables. The board itself is pretty small as you can see here. It can work with currents from 8 to 24 volts by default and after soldering a single pad here, you can use it with 5 volts as well. If you would like to see more videos about our products and projects that we are working on, uh, make sure to hit a subscribe button or better find a little bell icon which will send you a notification every time we post a new video. In default, the board converts differential signal back to TTL level this is because our controllers, such as SPI Matrix or LATS3, have a built-in differential buffer, a deep symmetrizer in it. You have to first enable it in a web configuration tool, which I will show you in a minute. Uh, so, if you are working with our controllers, uh, you will allow symmetry and you will put this in front of your strip and it will convert differential signal back to CTL level. As mentioned before, uh, you have to enable symmetry through our web configuration tool. Uh, you will go to settings and there you will allow symmetry. Solder a path here and the board now converts TTL to differential signal. This can be placed between two strips with another board that will convert the signal back to TTL level. Our recommendation for long distances is to use twisted pair cables such as CAT 5E or CAT 5 Plus. You simply use one twisted pair as A and B signal and the rest uh, you will connect to ground on the board. For those of you who are looking for more uh, details, I do recommend a blog post that we just recently published. You can find the link in the video description. There you will find schemes and examples uh, that can help you to create more awesome projects in the future.